Welcome to Borders Kitchen with Magic's Cooked Up. Um, I've got user guide number 14 here for you. Um, it's about how to use shortcuts. Um, basically, I had um, a YouTuber called Dave Pick Brogton again um, ask me uh, what shortcuts do you normally use? Because I think he's see, seen a few games in the past where I've been sort of clicking away in the background using the keyboard shortcuts and just wanted more of an understanding uh, about that. Um, and how you can improve using keyboard shortcuts. Um, so let's think of a good place to start. I think, basically, let me show you where all the information is. So, bottom right hand corner of the screen, if I click on the menu there, click on options, and then click, click on hotkeys, right? That shows you where all the keyboard shortcuts are. Um, so that, that can be your reference point uh, for finding out what the keyboard shortcuts are. Um, but let me tell you about them. Um, first of all, the H key, right? That takes you to your command center and it clicks through all your command centers if you keep pressing H. Okay, so I've built quite a few so far. Um, and then I think this will be coming up a lot on this user guard, the shift key, right? It's an amazing key. If you press shift and H, it doesn't take you to an individual uh, command center. It selects all of the command centers at once. And then, so you can see uh, down the bottom of the screen, there's four command centers selected. And then, for example, I can tap the A key to produce workers, uh, and that will distribute those workers to be built through those four command centers. So if I go H, you can see them being built because I've queued them up. Okay, so that's a really useful one. On the keyboard, um, there's two really good keys beside each other, the comma and the full stop key. Okay, so let's start with the full stop key. What the full stop key does is it finds and selects any workers that aren't active, they're not doing anything, uh, they're being lazy. Okay, so if I press the space bar like that, sorry not space bar, the full stop bar, um, that worker's not doing anything and it clicks through them when I press them. And likewise, again, okay, if you press shift and full stop, that selects all of your idle workers that aren't doing anything. So for example, if I want those idle workers aren't doing anything to build a command center. I can do B and uh, V and just click that and it would take those idle workers and they're going to build a command center, right? So the, the full stop is really powerful because you don't have to find workers somewhere in your civilization that aren't doing anything. You can do shift and full stop uh, and it will select them all. Uh, you don't have to find them, that's a way of selecting them all and get them to do something to be active again. Um, likewise the comma key right, um, selects idle military units so that's units that aren't firing anything at the time trying to destroy it or aren't running off to a certain destination it's ones that are just standing there not doing anything so I press comma now um, actually I've got, I think I've got all my idle units in my fortress so let's get them out by Clicking, oh, press the L key to get them out. Um, okay, hold on, just a little bit of a battle here. Yeah, so I can't remember if I said this already, but um, set a game up, put the computer players at easiest level, and then you can just, you're way ahead of everybody, uh, and you can just muck around and try things out. Okay, um, so as I was saying, um, the comma key. Uh, would take you through your guys that aren't doing anything, they're idly standing by. Um, and then if you do shift and comma, that selects all of your idle units. So, not just those soldiers there, but ones anywhere on the map that aren't doing anything. So, for example, I can click here, and all of those idle military units will go to that point, no matter where they are on the board, they'll all start going there. Um, so I'm playing Imperial Remnant here, so there's my laser troopers, my scout, um, my mech transports, uh, mech destroyers and strike mechs, all go to that point. Um, so those two keys, comma, full stop, amazingly useful. Shall I just 
come here to kill something. Right, the S key. This key is so useful. If if I click here, right, so the guys are moving. If I press the S key to stop those guys, the moment they stop, they start shooting. Okay, and that's just it's just an amazing thing because you can once once you get a sense of how quickly things fire, you can just press the stop, stop, and when you stop, they fire. You see that? S okay, that is an amazing useful key in in combat because it means you can like you can move your army around and if you know what the rate of fire rates are you can time it perfectly so you get maximum mobility and you press the stop key and they shoot yeah um, I digress there with that one um, next up um, let's grab a worker right um, obviously workers build things they can build buildings okay so if you look at the bottom left hand corner of your screen okay you'll see a four by four matrix so that's what matrix looks like when you select a worker um, on the top row uh, there's one that looks like a building one that looks like the death star and beside that one that looks like kind of an iron cannon from empire strikes back then the three types of building you can build and they've each got a hotkey um, so if you press b that's the first one, the one that looked like a building. That takes you through to all of the economic buildings, uh, including war centers, research centers, that research things but don't build things. So I press escape to cancel that. The Death Star one, that's all the military buildings, buildings that build military units. And press V, and that takes you through to all of those buildings. So I'm at level four, so that's all the buildings. And then last of all, the N key. This is defensive buildings, okay? So that's your turrets, anti-air turrets, uh, force fields, mines, that kind of thing. Okay, so they're the three types of buildings. So hotkeys are B, V, and N. So that's a really useful one to know. Okay. Um, now I should say at this point, let me let me just select regular buildings. Okay, so I press B. Right. That that four by four grid you can see, okay, that mirrors onto your keyboard. Okay, so if you look at the keys Q, W, E, R, all beside each other, that mirrors onto the top row of that grid. And then on the keyboard, the next row, row down, A, S, D, F, that mirrors onto the second row of that grid, the power core, etc. And last of all, the Z, X, C, V mirrors onto the the bottom row of buildings uh, there on the matrix okay um, so for example if I want to build let me come out of that with this worker if you want to build like a research center so that's the type of economic building so I will press B and then the research center that's three along and three down okay so three along and three down that's the C key so if I press C there's my research center. Okay, so if I want to build a war center, X. Um, if I want to build a um, prefab, that's Q. Okay, now all through the game, unless you're trade fed, you'll be building loads and loads and loads of prefab uh, shelters. So when you select a worker, it's BQ, lay one down, BQ, yeah. So BQ, lay one down, BQ, lay another down, BQ, lay another down. And that will get you building prefab ones, which is a really common one. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's all you need to know for building things. So that's the military buildings, and that's the um, the defensive buildings. Okay. Um, now, and another. Like, like I said that BQ to build a prefab is a really good one to know because throughout the game you will be building prefabs. There's another really useful one and that's the uh, in the food processor queuing up farms because all through the game you'll you want to be building farms and no better way to do that than to have them queued up already. So to go to the food processor to so control F um, and then 
the Kita QR farms, these F as well. Okay, so at various points in the game, if you think, oh gosh, I need to just pay attention to my farms in case um, they get depleted, just do Control F and keep pressing F. Okay, um, and then when you've done Control F, you can use that magic shift key if you want, and that will build, build five farms at a time. So if I hold down Shift and press F, can you see it? It queues five at a time. Okay, so BQ for building prefabs is important. Um, control F and F for queuing up farms is important. Um, not as important as the other processing centers. So if you do Control C, it takes you to the carbon processing center, as you might expect. Control O for all. Control O takes you to um, the ore processor. And Control N for Nova takes you to the Nova processing center. Okay. Um, now, this is a big point, right? You can use shortcuts to build stuff, but shortcuts don't exist for researching stuff. So if I do control T to take you to the troop center, okay, you can see that here, um, if I want to build a troop, there's a, a shortcut key A, right? But if I go to something like this, right, uh, research portable scanners, there's no shortcut that exists to do that. So whenever you want to research anything, you can't do keyboard shortcuts. You have to bring your mouse down to this matrix and click on it to research it. Um, so the war center, all those things that you can research, no shortcuts. You have to bring the mouse down and click on it to start to research it, yeah? Okay, uh, and then in the factory, I can I can use a shortcut, press A, yeah, um, to build shadow troopers. Um, but if I want to do any of the researches there, like the important automated processes, I have to click on it manually with the mouse. Okay. Um, okay, I hope I'm not sort of, um, well, I'm sure I am over overwhelming you if you're not familiar with this stuff already. If that's the case, just, just learn a little bit, go and try it out, and then come back and pick up more stuff later. Um, now, this is an important thing. What I was saying about that matrix, where that, that 4x4 grid on your screen corresponds to the 4x4 grid on your keyboard. There's one exception really where it doesn't imply. So if you go to the troop center, when you've got um, buildings that only produce like one line of units, so here on the troop center, all the units you can build are on the top line only. When they're, when they're on the top line only, then you use the middle row of keys. So if you want to build these for it's not Q W E R, which would mirror exactly, it's the next row down A S D and F. Okay. Um, so next thing, okay. Um sometimes you might get worker stuck because you build your buildings in the wrong place right next to trees for example you might end up getting a worker stuck or something like that which is incredibly annoying right you can delete stuff okay um now let's just just let me remind myself which key it is yeah okay so if i want to delete say a worker so i select a worker right it's not the backspace key to delete it it's the actual key that's got delete written on it on the keyboard yeah so if i press delete it kills the worker okay or one of my military units um so i'll do uh, remember i go to comma and it's chosen this military unit this laser trooper if you want to delete that laser trooper it's the key that has the full word delete written on it he's gone okay and Right, you can do it with buildings. If I want to get rid of this uh, prefab, the delete key, and it's gone. Okay, um, so use might for that might be if you, if you've advanced towards your enemy. So at the beginning of the game, you say build troop centers in your base, but at this stage, you're right on top of your enemy, and you want to kill him. And you're building factories and stuff there. Okay, um, you might want to delete, uh, say, a troop center back home because when that troop center produces units, it has to walk all the way across the board, which is a very, very, very long way. Um, so if you want to delete that heavy weapons factory, for example, press delete, and it's gone. Or 
um, this command center delete and it's gone um, okay what next um, Right, let's go to our military units now. Um, so remember I can select them all with shift and comma and bring them all over here. Um, now you notice the ones that are firing don't come over, that's because they're doing something, they're not they're not idle, so it doesn't select those guys. Um, now you can play around with the you can have them do things like patrol. Um, so that one there you can see the patrol is Z. Okay. So you, you would click on Z and click another point and it will walk backwards and forwards and then if any of the enemy units come near it, come into to its visual range, it will stop and fire at them. Okay, like that. So that's patrol. And you've got like unit formations here. Um, so uh, Q, W, E and uh, F. So like if I want to do the flank formation, kind of divide those units into to two groups, I press F. There you go. And you can see they've gone into flank formation. Okay. So you're getting the idea there. I think uh, also um, the box formation, W key. Um, and then, okay, well that, that, that doesn't really show the, the um, the formation in its best. If I add, say, for example, so let's get some troops back. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of the Jedi. If I have some troops and a mech transport unit, it might. If this doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, but it should, in theory, pretty much put the uh, the transport mech in the middle, um, so it's surrounded by troops. Um, you get the idea. It kind of does it, does it doesn't it? Um, Okay, now have I covered everything? I always, when I record these things, I always um, get to the end of it and think that's it, and then I've forgotten something. So any other important things? I think I will stop there. I hope it's given you a good idea. Like I was saying, um, the way to get better at shortcuts is um, set up a game like this, easy, easy computers, and just sort of try them out. Um, and you can't know all the shortcuts in one go. You have to learn them sort of bit by bit. Just like the most important things are like H for your command center. Um, those kinds of shortcuts. Um, dot for idle workers, comma for military units. Um, that's all the important ones. Um, so I will stop there, I think. Okay, right, take care.